frozen. God, it was a nice refreshing walk uh, right up the shop this morning. Uh, fucking vape. It's giving me a runny nose. My coffee. <sighs> I could pour a bit of rain this morning, going up the shop. Lovely and refreshing, right? <coughs> I've got me tobacco, so that's said it's tolerable. That vape beats off the cravings, doesn't it? <laughs> Early morning wake up, no alarm. Dogs there, dog food. They're all happy, they've had some sweets already this morning, some meaty strips. <sighs> yeah, it looks like it's been raining a while, there's some big puddles on the road. <sighs> well, that's me up and awake this morning. Woke up hyper thinking, fuck it, I'm going to get some backy. Two tins of dog food, a pack of bacon, a French stick later. A couple of bags of uh, meaty strips for the dogs. And they're waiting for their tin of meat. Might have been both of them today. Yes, and they know they've got the meat there waiting. It's really dim outside, so there's no point in opening the curtains at the moment because it don't make a difference to the lighting. Lights on in the hallway, if you see what I mean. And well, that should be normal sort of daylight. <coughs> <coughs> Very dim sort of day. You shut your face. You shut your face. Let me drink my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. You wait till you get your smelly old tripe. Oh, he's going to be holster up. Marnie, calm it down. Not in confined spaces, please. Don't you take the piss. Don't take the piss. She's licking his ears, trying to pacify him. You're not coming in here till I've drunk my coffee. You shut your face. Shut your face, you Mr. Dominant. Ah, ah, ah. Don't you start trying to beat Marnie up. Holster up. Right, you can come in here, but not the other two. Because they jump on the bed. Oh, that's what you want to get to. Your dinner. Fuck the other two. Your dinner. That's right, them two was busy eating grass as normal first thing. Ooh, fresh grass with rain on it too. That'll go down the throat better. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <coughs> Yes, you too. <coughs> God, made me feel a bit sick. Yeah, I can see here this morning. Not to worry, though. It's only the first one for a couple of days, isn't it? 
Everything clicking and popping this morning. Like I said, I don't know what was going on with the weather last night, but I got into bed and the old temperature started going through the freaking roof again. So, I fell asleep with that on. Let's just top it up. There you go. Because it runs out of water, it. Just switches itself off automatically. Is that full up or not? I can't see. Chatting away in it. Yeah, it's full up. Get my icy blinds back on. Oh, that's brilliant. I fall asleep too. Now, when you get in, get in the bed and you get under the quilt, dog snuggles up and then it's. The heat starts generating and it's fucking. You know it's going to store more rain or something like that, but you're not quite sure. To the way down this morning. Looks like there's going to be a bus day today. Going to do some shopping. So if it's bus day, it's headphones day, isn't it? Yeah, we don't like old people's chatting on the bus because they chat a load of fucking plop out loud, and everyone is just sort of trying to go about their day, and it's like you just don't want to be listening. Because as soon as they notice someone listening, what do they do? They start talking about you in the fucking conversation. Eh, this lazy bastard. Eh? You know? <laughs> Everyone else starts tutting. And then they're like, eh, can you hear me? Me, 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 me. Just put me headphones in, fuck them. <laughs> fucking impacts, aren't they? you get the mobile phone conversations on the bus is the worst one makes you want to go jump into a dom jolly mode don't it i'm on the phone you happy this morning marnie hey baby hey happy yeah happy slurpy willow Having a good old slurp. Yeah, that treatment's definitely worked on her. All her uh, spots are more or less gone now. All the heads have fell off them. The skin's starting to go back to normal. And the spots are fading away. So, whatever that treatment stuff is, it worked. Right, and yeah, I'm thinking about giving the dogs a bath and retreating them just to keep them up to, up to date and then order some new stuff off for them. What do you reckon, Marnie? You're molting, you ain't got fleas. It's not scratching like an old flea bag. I'd spot them straight away if they're on you, because you're white. Yes, you soppy dog. Yes. 
What's that? That's a bit of fucking grit. You sure your mother didn't have it away with a fucking Dalmatian? Look at the fucking dark spots under your skin coat. Hey, you sure that old bitch didn't have a bit of Dalmatian in her at the same time? Don't call my mother a bitch or lick my dick. <laughs> yeah, son of a bitch, isn't you, Marley? He says, yep, but I'm proud of that. <laughs> oh, that first coffee of the day is going down extremely well. So, like I said, the tobacco didn't turn up, so I had to But if I didn't have that, I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? And of course the other person that I was waiting on, he fell off the face of the earth, blah de blah de blah Yeah, okay. So I texted him yesterday and said, like, it's okay, I'm coping all right on the vape. It's just fucking her, she pissed me off. So, in other words, you can stop hiding now. It's only a fucking tenner. Don't be stupid. I'm gonna bombard your phone, phone. Where the fuck are you? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Over a fucking tenner. I'll just remember it for next time he wants to borrow 20 quid, ain't it? <laughs> like I said, it turned into a competition about who could help him out the most. So your dad give you 20 quid, your mum sorted out some summer swell he was up to whatever quid it was what did the text say yeah sorted up to d -d 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 -d. fucked to your mum <laughs> I thought ooh Marty pants because you didn't get what you wanted Ah, but I kept my promise to my dad, so I weren't bothered. Made my point in the issue, didn't I? We have others working now. Can't get away with it with your dad. So you contact your mum. Hmm, there you go. What did I say about that sort of thing? Anyway, all good. <coughs> right, there's my back it in. Let's put that in the back it in so it starts drying out. I haven't got that fucking silly fucking sopping damp straight out the pouch thing. Another pouch, another packet of Rizzlers. I don't put too much in the tobacco tin, if you see what I mean, because it dries out too quick. The last thing you want to do is pull your packet tin out in a bus garage or something, roll yourself a ciggy, and watch all the tramps gravitate towards you if you've got a fucking roll up. Well, I've only got that. Here, have half of that one. You can have half of this one because I've got to get home yet. Fill my tin back up. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
if it's someone that looks like they're really, really stressed out or something, it'd be like, yeah, come on, mate. You don't know. Don't know what their situation is, do you? You can tell when a tramp's a tramp and someone's really having it, having struggles in life. You can tell the difference. You know, not the blaggers that are, you got a bit of chain shock and go and get a can of beer or, you know what I mean? Got a couple of pence so I can get myself some food, yeah, he's a quick mate, go and get yourself some sandwiches over that shop. And you see him walk into the shop and walk out with a pack of sandwiches. Got a can of beer in their hand. They're the people I help. Hot, cold winter or something. Just put some people on the street, walk in the shop, go and buy some socks, gloves, pound land or something. There you go, mate. Just a couple of pairs of extra socks for you. A pair of gloves, a pair of stretchies or something. Go under your other gloves, so you've got double layer on. Ain't got a lot of money, mate, but you're welcome to it. Oh, thank you very much. You do know there's um, an anonymous thing going on at the moment. Oh. You know? Oh, cold winter or something like that, it was at the time. Or oh, help the, uh, you know what it's like. They walk up to uh, a homeless person in the street on a march or something and then they'll start filling his hat up for him the person breaks down in tears or something because he's so overwhelmed by this big group of people around him just giving him money freely all cheering him on not cheering themselves on for their own ego or a video you know they're all literally here you go brother come on off your feet on your feet come on walk with us if you want to don't if, you, if you're a bit disabled or whatever you know what I mean kindness, human kindness proper human kindness not for a reason you know, not because you feel guilty so you give you a little bit of charity whenever you give it Saw someone fanning herself the other day. Last time I was getting my head done in. Yeah. Just with a bit of paper or something, just fanning herself with it. So I went out and got that other fan, didn't I? And then I started getting attitude and I thought. Yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> You don't realise I was tired. Got you that fan, do you? Never mind. Now I've got three fans. Ah. Right. Like I said, no banker dad this time. I don't rely on banker dad, so. He shouldn't either. He's working. Put down the alcohol and you won't run out of money, will you? I only run out of money when I lend money out. I budget exactly on whatever I get. So that's me waking up. Let's see what's going on in the wider world. He's just waiting for his breakfast now. Hulkster's got his bit of carpet, so he's chuffed this morning. He ain't forced onto a cold concrete floor. Oh, look, Paul H on the PlayStation as well. Guess that can't be a troll account then, can it? And if I want to go out the way to uh, prove it's not a troll lookout, I'll just record a video with me and look at uh, my other profiles to prove it. 
because I ain't trying to hide my name. I just set it up that way because someone told me to in the beginning. Because uh, I said there was a uh, lot of stupidness goes on on YouTube. So I thought, right, well, I'm just going to shorten my name then. Yeah, so this morning's viewing list is a bit different, isn't it? But I'm up early, so I don't know what. Uh, Peru evidence. All I'm seeing this new Peru evidence is a man with a jetpack on his back. That's what I can see from here. Let's get a bit closer and see if I can see it properly. Because we know the Americans are in that area. That's no alien, you muppets. The British Navy have been showing you that technology for the last friggin' year. Or so. They've been testing it out and they for shipboarding. That's no alien. That's the Americans getting around the jungle, so they ain't got to go through the fucking creepy crawlies, innit? And they're probably trying to scare the locals away from uh, some rare mineral they found in the jungle. Now we know what's going on, that ain't no alien. Don't you start bitching. Have a cup of coffee first and wake up properly. Have a couple of ciggies. A rukia to remove all kinds of blockages in. Well, I can't pronounce that word. Riz Q. Money, success, business, marriage. No ads during this video. That's why I put one on the other night because there weren't no ads in it. I just let it run all the way through. The night he was sick shit himself literally like water so, who knows what it was doing eh Martin it was very uncomfortable during that night it was like turning around and I kept sort of looking up and catching him standing over me and do you know what I mean he's a lovely dog but like, I don't know what he was hearing in what he was hearing but he does like to have a listen at the telly and he's very good on listening to Tony voice and stuff like that. So I don't know. But it seemed to affect him in some way. So I don't know if something had latched on. Don't forget, it's a graveyard out in my back garden, isn't it? What is there out there in dogs? Two grown dogs. I think there's about five or six puppies out there because Snatch lost half her litter, her first litter. That's why we've got such lovely roses growing around the tree. Because they got some uh, good nutrients there. Yep, tone in the voice went. Yep. That was my trainer, wasn't it? Them two dogs for uh, when my father died. My dad was asking me, like, you know, when it happened, he said, What did you do then? I said, like, Said a prayer over his body, give him a kiss. 
took his collar off him, dug an hole, could only dig it down so hard, so far, and then my back went. Made him a coffin out of the pallets, buried him in that bit of earth over the top, cried my fucking eyes out. Recorded it all on video and put it on my YouTube channel. Same with Snatch. While they was taking the piss out of me while I was burying her. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, it's a shame you use fucking weekly, you cunts, isn't it? Does rain stay in your garden, does it, when it waters your flowers? When it waters the weed killer into the soil? Does it stay in your garden, does it? When you spray the weeds around the outside edge of your garden, does it travel into our garden, does it? Do the dogs eat the grass around the edge? Yeah. And you notice little tags coming out on them and that. On their legs. On the bottom of their legs by their ankle thing. Because dogs don't have ankles, do they? You know what I mean, around this bit of the... So it's always in, in the grass, if you see what I mean, that they picked it up from. And then I saw a picture of a moose out in Canada where they spray Roundup from the sky to treat areas. Shut up, Will, I'm telling the story. And this moose was smothered in those sort of tags, but big ones, all over its body. I said, here's your result of Roundup. This is what happens when they spray it all over the, from the sky. <coughs> I thought, lovely country. Just what you want to be moving to, isn't it? Yeah, that was out in Canada, obviously, because it was a moose. A Canadian sent me a picture of that. That Roundup weed killer from who was owning that firm at the time, Roundup Black Rock. And then they sold it to Bayern in Germany. You know, for a European country to sell it all around Europe to poison the land before. It's a sneaky way of destroying a continent, isn't it? Poison the food source. GM food to finish it all off. All sold by. Oh, Black Rock. How convenient. Along with the Roundup. Black Rock, yeah, the same Black Rock from Iraq and all that shit. So they sold it to the Germans and then hit the German economy to bankrupt it. <laughs> hit their gas pipeline. <laughs> oh, shut up, bitch. At least I protect you from the weed killer, trying to stop you from eating the fricking stuff. But will you listen, dumb bitch? Marnie does. Well, you want to cuddle? You want to cuddle? You want to come in here for a cuddle, do you? Have your paws dried off now, since you've been in the front garden? Yes? <sighs> no, I don't want that over my tobacco smoke, thank you, Marnie. is not dog fart heaven for me.
it's smelly ass dog. Right, things to do today. So, first things first, pop back up there later in a bit. Go pay me ta council tax and me rent. Well, the council, the spare bedroom tax side of it. What, you want to come in here now? You can start giving me shit and bounce all over the bed. No? Did you put your bed this morning? Or last night? Nope. Did you pee your bed? Nope. You was a good girl, weren't you? But you and Marnie both had something, didn't you? bird flu going about like I said they do eat the old crumb that the birds drop have you jumped on the floor to let them come in here have you let's get a refill first I think Grumpy old git this morning, have I? This is a mug that my uh, grandson gave my son. <laughs> Grumpy old git in the morning, he is. Got his mother's head on him. <laughs> oh, she was a party man, she was. Three weeks good, one, uh, sorry, one week good. Three weeks bad. Hmm. Yeah, no one dry straight. Like father, like son, wasn't it? Without realising. You know, when they nag you and follow you around the house nagging you. Just like your mother would do. It's like fucking hell, I moved out my mother, stay away with me, sort of shit. <laughs> the fuck, I didn't come to you for a second mother. What do you think you're doing, bitch? Wait. Going to washing machine today. Since I'm up early. Nothing's going to get done in the house today because it's a shopping day. Some fresh milk this morning. The other one had turned. So the left in there. <sighs> yeah. Well, I should be up now early today. Red phones. <laughs> I wonder where them ones are gone. The little tiny buds on them. Do 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 do. 
Beverly, Snaffy, Amstad, Blue Nose, Red Nose, Pitbull. So I'll be checking the dogs. Because I keep getting them looked at so much. They ain't a pit. She's got a pit in her, aren't she? Because she's a fucking bully. They're bred from pits and Amstaffs. Isn't she beautiful? No trouble at all though, are you? See how they settle down. Settle down. Lay down. So I'm just watching how they lay on the bed. Are they going to force her to go round the other side? Yep. There you go. Block the bed off so she's got to go round the other way. Go on. Up. Up. There you go. Good girl. And stand on the remote. Go on. Good girl. Nope. Come here. Come here. No, don't sit with your manky minge on my fucking pillow. Get off. Move. Get off. That's it. <laughs> yes, that's better. Right, you can lay down with that pillow. That's not my pillow, is it? You can lay down on there. Go on then, lay down. Oh, don't fixate on the light reflections already. <laughs> Staring at the headboard because of the light reflections. Is it reflecting, is it? <laughs> look, I'll give you a clue, Holster, look. Light bulb up there. Is it a ting ting, is it? Is it? Is it ting ting, is it? You think it's a ting ting game? That's a strange little dog. How are you, happy girl? Let's have a look at your belly. Come here. Come here. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at your belly. Look at that willow, that's cleared right up, isn't it? I'm happy with that. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm checking your belly for lumps and bumps. Yeah, heads are coming off of them ones now. Got any new ones under your armpit? No. That's where it seems to be the worst, or it was. Mm. Yeah, you've got a few little munches. Around your baldy area there. So we keep spraying it on you and it's going away in it. Worth the investment. This stuff here. The treatment. That's what I've been spraying them with. Does about three, three doses. You just put it in a spray bottle and spray it on them. You don't need to wash it off. It needs to soak into their skin. So, they didn't have mange. But whatever skin infection it was, it was clearing it up. That's why I said if I tried a couple of really mild things for it. They, uh... It showed no signs of any improvement whatsoever, so I switched to that stuff, which is like a safer form of a heavier medication for it. I thought, well, if I treat them for that first, then if it ain't that, it's probably going to clear up whatever it is anyway. And that's exactly what's happening. Still got a few bumps, like I said, but she lays on the floor a lot, so she gets ants and stuff like that and crawl on her where she lays there so long these two don't lay on the floor long so they're too high but so they don't get those problems do they plus she's moved into a new area a new place 
she's out in the country she's not in a cage all the time so you know What are you looking away for? Did I catch you looking at my coffee? Or is the light reflecting off the coffee as well on the headboard each time I tip the cup? <laughs> I can feel my coffee going over me in a minute. He's still fixated. Right, Hulk's the lay down. Come on. Otherwise my coffee's going to go over me. Thank you. That's it. Don't look at it then. No, I'm not being heavy handed with him. Just trying to stop the coffee going over me again. Like an old daddy checking on him, aren't ya? Hmm. Right, what are we on? 41 minutes. There you go, woke up, hype up, same as I do usually most mornings. Uh, you think back to when you were a kid, and you think to when your uh, problems have begun. Right, so when you, when the problems begun. Normalising taking pills. So obviously there was a break up there when I was very young. to a psychiatrist of all things because I missed my dad hyperactive like my dad so it's doing my mum's head in because I'm like my dad oh we've got to get that out of him that's drugging make him more controllable so from a very, very young age, I got put on Valium. You remember, mother's little helper to keep the children drugged up. So mother could sit there and watch the telly with her feet up in front of the fire all day. Yeah, don't want to take down the park and I'll sit here and be all depressed. Because he's your father. He don't mean it even as your father. Get me drugged up so I don't have to fucking be reminded of that. I found out what it was all about in the end, but. Very sad when I say it. Right? Because basically. And this is why I cut ties. So I'm telling the truth now about it. Right, imagine everything she went through when her and my mum, dad split up over his new wife that he's still with to this day. Or he was still with to this day. Right. Everything she went through, she made me go through To then contact my dad to rub his nose in, all in it and because I wouldn't contact him when I was uh, taking overdoses and put away somewhere she had to contact him right just to make him relive it all again what he'd done to her right the one thing I was trying to Sparing from. So 
so she was doing it. That was that was it all along. That's why the civil servants and the southeast operations legal operations was all involved blah 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 because she's a royalist get it I'm pressing my buttons getting me to talk about shit when I'm ranting after she's pressed my buttons so they knew what was going to happen if they tried to do that Yeah, it turns out, after telling me I'm down there, what I was going through, I was feeling and that she started crying. I had to tell her because, like, if not, I could have been dead in a few minutes, you know what I mean? I was that suicidal, stressed out about being taken away from my kids. No, I was going to get sent down. Even though everyone was saying, no, they won't send you down. But I was right. Yeah. He even said to my son, I said, do you remember when I said I was taking you home in front of the judge and the judge sent you away for a week and then he threatened Tyler while looking at me, not looking at you? He said, yeah. I said, that's all I know, I'm going to prison. I threatened to wipe them out, didn't I? So they're going to send me to prison just to prove the point, and then when I get out of prison, the killing's going to begin. Which was exactly what happened. So I said all that ahead of time. So there's all the history of it all into one small package from beginning what created all the drug problems just trying to change me to stop me being like my father because my mother hated him that much for her and she waited all that time to get her revenge then after he was dead it was like when I really needed to talk to someone about it It was like, well, I don't give a shit. I've got to get my car sorted out. Well, fuck you two. Never spoke to her again since. In other words, well, he's dead now. Why the fuck, you, why the fuck do I care about it? My drama, my trauma's all dead and buried in it. I don't give a shit about yours. Oh, he was my friend. No, he fucking wasn't. He hated him. Don't make out your, your friends with his wife. You're tormenting her. You pick this moment to do it. I don't know what you've done. Same as you controlled my brother. By pushing someone that had a heart attack. Because she stood up to you. And she died, didn't she? And I told you not to do it. But you did it. And then you even bitched about having to pay for her funeral. You did that to my brother. And I told my brother the truth, didn't I? There you go. Unforgivable. All I can do is say a prayer for her and, and do my grieving for her now, but I don't want nothing to do with her anymore. It's her that caused me all the problems and the depression. Now I've worked it all out. It's all starting to calm down. So... Bitter ladies out there, here's a little message for you. 
be very careful with your hatred for the father because if you hate the father you're hating yourself and you're hating your children and you're causing the children trauma by hating the other parent and it's usually over sex nothing more than that it's usually about sex and you losing in sex losing your man in, and losing your sex losing your little bit of gold your meal ticket in life so you can sit about and be lazy like a lot of English women are that's why I got sent away from my family traumatised ended up like I ended up with all them problems it took me until I was 50 to properly work it all out so basically it ruined my life my dad didn't know if he could trust me because of all the poison that got dripped in his ears and what he used to hear When I came up to start again up here, I was totally clean. He said, but you were shaking when you fell asleep. He said, like, it's got to be drugs, isn't it? I said, why is it? Couldn't I have just been dreaming? Like my dog's dream now? And you see him shaking on the bed and twitching and in their dream. It's nothing to do with drugs, is it? Dogs aren't on drugs. So he got it wrong. Because of all the poison that had been dripped in his ears by other relatives. All trying to protect their little piece of his pie. That they was after at the end of it all. <laughs> That's why I don't have no uh, malice in my heart. They was the ones that loved him all his life while he was with them. They didn't have hatred for him, neither did I. I just wanted to be with near my dad. Where I'd always wanted to be. So that's why I made that choice. So my, the lady in the photo up there is my mum up here. And that's the way it's staying. 